Hi, I'm George, and this is Photoshop Elements 5 Fast and Fun Filters. Okay, the first one's real easy, and it's nice if you have a picture that's just a little bit on the dark side. Like this is just a little bit dark in here, and it's not really as punchy as it could be. Easy to use filter. Go up to filter, come down to adjustments, and equalize right there, and boom, it just brightens everything up. Fast and easy, as you can see. Okay, just get that out of the way. There we go. Okay, the next one is a real easy way to make a pretty good looking painting effect very quickly. Go up here to filter, come down to the second one here, filter gallery. And in here, let's just close that sketch down, go up to artistic and come down to dry brush. And that's right there. And it gives a pretty good painting effect, especially if you have your brush size set clear to the top up here. Your brush detail, you that clear to the left, it gives you more interesting things in there. And your texture, you want to have that clear to the right hand side. That gives you the most detail. Now, it doesn't look like a good painting yet because there's no canvas or texture effect. So for that, come down here to the bottom and click on this button right here. That makes a new layer. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that in just a second. Let's now change this to a texture. Come down here to texture and texturizer. We now have two effects, the dry brush effect and the texturizer effect. And on this one, I like using canvas that's right there. And the scaling is pretty good, 200% relief of five, upper left hand corner. It gives a nice kind of painting texture. There you go, real fast painting look. Choose OK. And there you go, looks like a real nice painting. OK, let's just undo that. I'll use the Control Z key to step out of that. And this next one is an easy way to make a comic book or graphic novel look on an image. Back up to filter again, come down to where it says filter gallery. The second one, don't do the first one. This top one is just the last filter you used. Whatever that is, it'll show up here. So I'll just come down to the second one right here, filter gallery. And this time I'm going to get rid of that texturizer right there. So just do a trash can, delete that one layer. And we have the dry brush. We're now going to change this over here to poster edges right there. This is a great one for getting a kind of a nice comic book effect. Now you don't want to have any texture in here that would ruin the effect. So having a nice smooth background is a way to go. But have this look nice, I found that having your edge thickness clear to the top, your posterization clear down to the bottom at zero, and edge intensity real low. One is pretty good. That gives you the best kind of a nice graphic novel look. As you can see there, it's almost instantaneous. Choose OK. And there we go. There is that graphic novel or comic book effect. And once again, I'll use the Control Z keyboard shortcut to undo that last step. There we go. This next one is just a little bit more complex, but not much, just two steps instead of one step. Let's go back up to Filter, come down to Filter Gallery. Again, it applies your last filter that you used. That's okay. This time I want to have a diffuse glow on this. So I'll close on the artistic section right here, come down to Distort, I want diffuse glow right there. It just gives you a real nice kind of a soft glowy look, kind of a nice dreamy effect. On this one, I have my graininess clear to the top. It has a nice bit of a grain effect in there. The glow amount I have right in the middle and the clear amount pushed up to the right hand side a bit. So I think up about two thirds of the way up is pretty nice. 14 worked out well for this particular image. Okay, that's step one. Choose OK. There we go. Not too bad. Now step two, we'll do with an adjustment layer on top of this. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and you want hue saturation right there. Check this and choose OK. That just locks it into that one layer. Now in here, right there it says colorize, click on that, and then you can adjust the hue, whatever color you want, and right down here towards the left you'll find that you're getting into kind of a sepia tone effect. Increase your saturation and you begin to get a little bit more color in there, and then bring your lightness down a touch, and that puts the color into the background. And right about in here, there's a pretty good looking sepia tone effect. You can kind of fine tune your color if you want to with your hue slider. Look, it's back out of that again, control Z to undo those steps. There we go. Now one other filter up here that's used a lot in a lot of other kinds of processes is the adjustments and threshold, and it does that. You have a simple slider here to adjust this. And I found this is a little hard to use. I'll show you to do the same effect, but in a way that has more control and won't give you that blockiness. Again, I'll do the Control Z here to back out of that. Okay, for this, go up to Filter, back to our Filter Gallery again. And this time we're coming down to Sketch. And what you want here is called Note Paper. And it does this. It gives you kind of a gray tone. Now in here, Image Balance, this shows you how much you have one way or the other in there, how much darks or how much lights. So just watch the face and find a spot where it looks good to you. You want a, a good amount of black, but you still want to see the eyes. That's too much. There's not enough black in that one. So find a good spot where you have nice eyes. You can still see your eyes, but you have as much of the dark as possible. And right about there looks good. I have my graininess at zero and the relief at zero as well. That's very important. If you go in here with the relief, it kind of puts a hard edge and that ruins the effect. So keep both of those at zero. Choose OK. OK, now it's a nice kind of a gray scale, but it's not that hard black and white that we want. 
And for that, again, back to an adjustment layer. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. This time choose levels right here. Again, check that box, choose okay, and there we go. Notice that the dark colors are right here, big spike right there, and it's mostly white. So just take your left hand control here, the black control, and just move it all the way down to that spike right there, or just a little bit beyond, and that gives you that dark effect. So it's much more controllable this way, and you get a bit better quality look as well. So there we go, five different fast fun filter effects here in Photoshop Elements.